Hello everyone. Welcome to this part 2 video on meshing and engine nacelle. In part 1, we covered topology building and grid generation. In this video, we will be looking into the internal surface creation, which was skipped in part 1. Block edges emerging out of sharp features are guided using internal surfaces. The use of internal surfaces is mostly restricted to sharp features in convex regions. These sharp features are located in the curled regions of the geometry. These surfaces can be created using various tools of which we will be focusing on internal surface tool and the control net surface tool. Let's start with internal surface. Until version 6.6, .6, it is located under the surface tools menu. In this case, the surface group is chosen as an input group. The moment the surface group is selected, the surface intersections are calculated and all possible intersections are listed in the column below. The intersections are displayed as chains of corners. Flip normals group changes the orientation of the normals of the intersection. This influences the shape or intersection of the surface. At any given intersection, four different surfaces can be created. They are cup and cone shaped surfaces on either normal direction of the intersection. For this case, these are the three locations where we need cone shaped and one cup shaped surface. In version 6.6, .6, we can create multiple similar surfaces with one click. As mentioned, the three cone shaped surfaces can be created together. So the other intersections are moved to the rejected column temporarily. The advanced options are used to control the shape and smoothing of the surface to be created. In a similar way, let's create the cup shaped surface. All the four surfaces are looked to bisect the angle and close without any folds. To create right surfaces, a general rule is to maintain the ratio between tangent magnification and height ratio as 10 is to 1 or lesser. The remaining two surfaces have to be ribbon shaped. Once the base wireframe is created, control and surface tool can be used to create these ribbons. The shape of the internal surfaces should follow the path as represented here in 2D. The ribbon tool generates a set of corners bisecting the angle. Next the ribbon layer has to be extended such that it passes through another boundary surface as shown. A spherical copy can be done by wrapping it with the desired ratio. Having created the base wireframe, let's execute the control net surface tool to create the desired surface. The input group is C6 and the feature group are the intersection corners which make sure the surface passes through the intersection exactly. The output file name is ribbon1 and the rest are chosen to be default values. In a similar way, let's create the other ribbon surface using corner group C8 and C9. There are many tools in GridPro to create surfaces, some for special purpose and some general purpose. The user can choose the best surface creation tool to suit his need. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to the channel to get updates on new videos.